Okay, welcome back to creating a cryptocurrency in Python. This will be the last video in the series. I think it's the 12th video now. So we're just gonna finish up the buy page that I left you guys hanging on in the last video where we created the buy.html file. And that's where we're gonna be able to buy our currency on the site. Now, um, it's a lot to actually get this to work where you have like a credit card and a payment. So what we're gonna do is just enter a simple text box with an amount and then the user can just basically get any kind of money they want for free. So we're gonna start by bringing in our messages. So we're gonna include includes slash underscore messages dot HTML. Then we can print um, our current balance. So let's say your current balance is, so they know how the user knows how much they have before they buy more, is balance SHK. Then we can import our render field so we can put our form in. So let's say from includes slash underscore form helpers, import render underscore field. Now let's create our form. I'm gonna actually copy this from the transaction page here because it will be very similar. So I'm gonna copy all of this stuff here, bring it over here. And then we actually just need the amount. We don't need a username like that. And that should be good. Let's just change the button at the end here to be buy now instead of send. Okay, um, going back to our app, I think uh, this should work at this point. So let's just refresh and I'm going to load uh, slash buy. Okay, and we have some kind of issue here. Form helpers was not found. Oh, I probably forgot HTML at the end. Yeah, dot HTML. Okay, perfect. Now let's try and buy some money. Let's say 20, I don't know, 30, so I have 110. Oh, we'll give it a second here. You know what, I'll probably restart the app actually. Oh, <laughs> I think it deleted everything from the blockchain when I did that. If I select all from, yeah, it deleted everything from the blockchain. That's okay. So I'll just get my hundred back. Okay, and let's see if I have my hundred. So I go to the blockchain. Yeah, I do. Bank sent me a hundred. Okay, so that's kind of it. The last thing we'll do is just clean it up and make the app look super nice because this is a really boring layout right now. So the first thing we'll do to do that is we will go on our dashboard page here and let's just print the blockchain on the website itself. So let's add blockchain equals get underscore blockchain dot chain and then we'll get the current time. So we'll import time, import time. And then we'll say current time is equal to time.strf time. And then we'll print um, percent I, and then the month, and then AM or PM, like that. Okay, and we'll just do this so we can print our blockchain and then say last updated at whatever p.m. or a.m. So let's add those into our arguments here. CT equals CT, blockchain equals blockchain. And let's just add page is equal to dashboard 
and then on our by we'll say page is equal to by and on our transaction we'll say page is equal to transaction okay cool now we can go to our dashboard and we can bring in our blockchain so we can say dash table dash slash table and we'll say percent for block in blockchain and we'll do a row for that and we'll do the blocks hash so we'll say block or block dot number maybe first uh -huh. and then we'll do oh we have to put that in my brackets that won't work. and then we'll do our block dot maybe block dot data and our blocks hash And then we'll end the for loop. And then let's put a little thing here that says last updated at the current time. Okay, let's reload. And there we go. We have our, it's not that nicely formatted, but we have block number, the data, and the hash here. And if we add another transaction, so let's send some money, let's go to slash transaction, and let's send John Doe, I don't know, 12, oh, John Doe. Okay, so we have 88 now, we go to our dashboard, and it's not formatted nicely we'll fix that later but we have the new block added here cool so that's pretty much it um the what's next is we can add our formatting and there's actually a lot of work to make this website look super nice because uh, we have css javascript um, image files a lot of html coding and cleanup to do that so I've actually gone ahead and coded all of the CSS, JavaScript, and HTML to make this look pretty with the current Python code here that we've all coded together. So if we actually go to the file folder that this is inside of right now and delete the templates folder, and then I'll leave in the description a link to download the uh, files that will make this look nice. So if I drag those in here like that, then I'll go back to the app and I will commit control C, so stop it from running. And then I will rerun the app. And then if I go to the home page of the app, we'll give it a second here. This is all the nice styling I did here. This is the home page. And if we click get started, it'll take us to the register page that we created before. We can register an account here, already have an account, we can log in. And everything is the same. All the code we did in Python is the same. It's just uh, to make it look pretty. And here's the dashboard. I made this little JavaScript price of Shockwave. It's not really, it means nothing really. And then here is our blockchain here. It's kind of in this nice little table here. And we can search for something in the block. And then we can go to our buy page and let's buy 12 so that we have 100. And then see that is added as a new block to the blockchain. This is all familiar before. And then we can send money on our transaction page here. And then I'll just log out. So that's our nice pretty little uh, blockchain Python cryptocurrency uh, using Flask. 
and you can download these files to make it look nice in the link below. Oh, and I think I spelled cryptocurrency wrong here, actually. <laughs> Let me fix that. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. If you made it through all 12 videos, I salute you. That's great. Um, it was a lot of work to make this, and uh, we did it together. So, yeah.